supposed to be vlogging today. Um, and if I remember, I would not be looking crazy like this. Yes, I probably would. But I'm leaving home extra, extra early today because my dumb self, um, my dumb self left my charger, my computer charger, at school last yesterday. Wait, is that? Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, but back to what I was saying. Um, I left my computer charger at school yesterday, and I didn't realize that I left it until I was about to start like typing my notes like around 10 o'clock. So then my computer is like on 3%, and I'm like, let me go grab my charger. I look in my backpack, and it's not there. And right away, I knew exactly where it was under the table in class. So I'm leaving my house extra early so I can go get my charger, so I can like finish my assignment and everything. But yeah, there's, it's going to be a pretty long day. I want to do a weekend vlog where you guys should see like the weekend of a law student or my weekend at least. I don't know what else them people doing, but I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to take you guys with me on my weekend. And yeah, there's so much I want to share with you guys. You guys, we're going into the sixth week of school. You guys know the last time I vlogged, it was like week two. So a lot has changed. I have so much to update y'all on. So I can't wait, but I'm in a rush right now, so we can't do it now. But when we... When I get back to y'all, I'm going to tell you guys all the fun, great things, and bad things that have been happening. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm not going back to pick her up. She gave me a bad start. Yeah, she was a little bit. She had a bad attitude, for real. No, I'm not going to pick her up. That's crazy. I think her name is Mary. Yeah, she was Mary. Her name was Mary. No, I'm not going back. Yeah, you don't want her. You don't need that bad energy. Okay, so if you could direct me on how to get to you, because I'm not picking her up. Um, do you know oh, yeah, let me um, pull it up on my phone. I really not, don't know either. I can look on my GPS. What they shouldn't do, do I go straight? Um, you can go straight. I feel like you'll get there, yeah. Because what, what they shouldn't do, if a rider is upset, don't have me go back to her. You know, she's going to just give me a bad start. Right. Stars are important. Yeah. So, no, we're not going to pick Mary up. You guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how that was the funniest Uber ride of my life. Okay, so I get in the car. The lady's a super nice lady. She's cool. She's talkative or whatever. So I do Uber pool because I get like really good. I get super cheap. So I did Uber pool. And so she's going to pick up the girl. And for some reason, hold on y'all. Because I'm about to walk past a big group. Matter of fact, no, I'm not going to stop vlogging. Y'all know what's good with me. So I, for some reason, um... The girl like was not outside, so the lady couldn't tell. Um, the lady couldn't tell where she was, so the lady had to like make a U-turn. So then Uber canceled the girl's trip. So the girl like comes in the car and she's like like infuriated, like you can. She just looks so mad. So the lady's like, hey, like I'm sorry, Uber canceled your trip. And the girl's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? And then she was like, I don't know, like they canceled your trip. Like I can try to. So the girl just got out of the car and slammed the door. And it was like, it wasn't like I felt bad for her, but I have a very odd sense of humor. So for some reason, I thought it was so funny. But um, yeah, that was my Uber ride today. Hold on, y'all. Let me open this door. Okay. So you guys know I lost. Well, I left my um, charger, so I need to get that so I can finish typing up my notes, but let me see. We're at school now. Um, I'll come back on the camera when we get in there so we can see if we can find it. Oh, never mind. Elevator's open. But... I'm so tired, you guys. It is week, we're going on week six. So this is the last day of week five. I think I told y'all that earlier, but it is going by so fast. And it's alarming, you guys. I have my first midterm on October 10th. And it is in contracts. And I don't know if y'all know this or not, but before I hated contracts, it was like my least favorite class. But now it's my absolute favorite class. Like, I'm going to contracts today. And I just adore it. Okay, hold on. Is this my classroom? Oh, yeah, this one. It is locked, you guys. I don't even know. <sighs> I don't even know like what to do. Okay, you guys, I found it. They hung it up for me, so I have not lost faith in society. They did not steal my charger. Oh, this is a great day. So, what time is it? Hold on. Mm. It's 7.57, which means it's 8 o'clock, which means I have class in 20 minutes, which means that gives me 20 minutes to try to type up my notes. 
Um, I don't even know if that's practical. Let me just sit down here and do it real quick. But just for a little update for you guys, um, yeah, everything has been pretty good with law school. I mean, as good as law school can be. Like some days are really, um, some days are really great and then some days are really challenging. But I think that that is just like with anything that you do. Like everything is not gonna always be amazing. Everything is not gonna always be a perfect day. Like you're gonna have those days where you are just like, what is going on? But you gotta understand that that is a part of life. Like we're humans, everything is not gonna be perfect all the time. So I have had a few of those days. However, it has been a good five weeks. But one of the biggest things that I said I wanted to do when I came to law school is to join the Student Bar Association. So the way it works when you're in your first year of law school is there can only be um, one person from each section, one person from each section who is a part of the Student Bar Association. So like in my class, I ran for Student Bar Association. I got it. It was kind of like I pretty much ran against myself because the other person who wanted to do it just ended up not wanting to do it. So that I was honestly so excited about that because that's one of the main things I really wanted to do. Like usually before I do anything, and it's just to remain goal oriented. Like I write down all of my goals that I want to accomplish, and that was one of them. So I'm just so thankful about that. But another thing that I have um, gotten involved in since I've been here is um, note sharing. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with sharing your notes, but if there's somebody who might not be able to take notes as fast or if they have any type of issues with taking notes, you will um, type up your notes and you will send them to the student affairs and they will get them to that student. So you don't know who the student is, but you know that they're a person who's in your section. So I did um, volunteer to be the note taker um, for my section and it's honestly, like I'm so happy to be able to do that and help somebody. So I like take like at least an hour Typing, because I write my notes in class because you retain, I can tell you for sure, statistics say it, studies show it, but I can tell you as a person who does it, you retain so much more information when you write your notes. And I think I've shown you guys before, my handwriting is atrocious. Nobody can understand it but me. However, um, I write my notes and I retain the information. So I have been, you know, writing my notes in class and then after class I type my notes up and then at the end of the week I send it to them. And although you do get compensated for it, like, I'm just happy to be able to do it just to help somebody, but the money is a plus, so we won't complain about that. Um, and other than that, everything's been going pretty okay. Like, we have our challenges as law students, I'm sure. Anybody on here who's a law student knows exactly what I'm talking about. And anybody who is not a law student and plans on being one, you'll know what I'm talking about soon enough. But other than that, everything has been going swell. So this weekend, there's a lot of different things going on. And I'm just trying to figure out if I'm going to go to them or not. Because I know, um, I told you guys in my last vlog, I'll be going to Virginia actually next week. So I have my writing assignment due next week. So I'm like working on that. And I actually get my rough draft back today from my professor, so I'm going to tell you guys what the, pa what the paper looks like. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, show you guys the grade or however she grades. I have no clue. But um, I get that back today. So I want to, you know, get that done this weekend. But there's so many, like, social things going on this weekend. And I never thought that in law school they would have this many social events. Fooled me. But there's so many social events. And then another thing is I signed up for an alumni mentor. So I meet my mentor on Sunday. We have like a mentor brunch and I'm so excited to meet her. We've talked on the phone and she just seems like she's just amazing. So I'm happy to finally meet her. But we also have another um, bar review and it's like a rooftop pool party. And I'm like, I want to go, but I'm also like, I'd rather study. And that sounds so unlike me, but that's what I, I rather do. So I haven't quite decided yet, but you guys will find out because you guys will be with me. Um, but anyway, I'm about to go try to finish typing up these notes before class and then go to class. The classes I have today is contracts. I have that um, this morning until 10, and then I have a break until 1 where I have legal writing. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go home or if I'm going to just stay here and like finish stuff, but I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Thank you. You guys, my phone went off. Did you guys hear that phone go off? That was my phone that went off in class. That was hilarious. 
And Siri, my professor asked somebody a question and Siri said, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. And then everybody just started laughing and I was like, yeah, that would happen to me. Oh my gosh. Thank you look you. cute. Thanks. Thank you. It was my celebration of I have a three hour break between oh, my Oh yeah, classes. girl, you celebrate. <laughs> I'm going home and taking a nap. Oh, so jealous. <laughs> Oh wait, you live super. You live far, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, not an option. What do we eat? Um, we'll get a hamburger. Oh, you're at home. Problem with LA, no matter what you want to eat, it's here. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. I want a fruit salad. No, I want pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. <laughs> not real pizza. The microwave pizza rolls. <laughs> of course you do. Everybody say hi to Bianca. Hi. You guys, Bianca has been late every day this week to class. I, I every lived, single day. She lives so us. close to school. She's been late every single day. She walks in class. At least she looks bomb when she walks in. <laughs> but it's just like, I just look and shake my head uh, like, again, B? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Fuck me real quick. I'm at my house now, so I'm gonna just like chill for a little bit, and um, I have class again at one, so I want to take a little, a little more nap and stuff before class. So that's what I'm about. I'm in the freezer. But that's what I'm about to do. I want um, this is what I want. Yeah, I want pizza rolls. I, I have such terrible eating habits allegedly, but we're gonna be all right. But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like I have a lot to talk to y'all about, but right now it's not the time because I'm really sleepy, y'all. So I'm about to um, do that, and I'm going to come talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm at school now. I took a, I took a nap, and honestly, sometimes when I take naps, it's like, okay, yeah, that's what you needed. Like, I have the energy that I need, and other times it's like, girl, you just did yourself a major disservice. So I feel like that's what I did this time because I'm still so tired, but I'm at school. Um, my class starts at 110. It's 1230. I'm like the only person in class, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna read, I guess. But um, today we have the Black Law Student Association um, mixer, and that's at like seven o'clock. So I think after class, I get out at three, that I'm gonna like stick around and like do some reading and stuff for like next week, and then just go home and get ready really quick, and then go to that. Um, but other than that, I feel like I, I can't even have like a productive conversation with you guys because I just I'm so tired um that's the reality of it usually like once Fridays roll around I am done it's like we say this all the time like a law school week is like a month of undergrad like it is so draining I can't even begin to explain it to y'all but um I just need some sleep anyway let me read this stuff and I'm gonna come talk to you guys later Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you guys what my outfit looks like really quick. I'm running super duper late. It started at 6.30. It's 6.35. But I'm wearing this, like, over-the-shoulder thing. I actually hate it. But um, I'm wearing these boyfriend jeans. I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, so this over-the-shoulder thing, these boyfriend jeans, and um, these, like, black and brown boots. Um, I just called my Uber, and I'm waiting for it. But I just hate when I'm running late, and then people text me, ask, are you coming? And I'm just like... Yeah, I'm coming. I'm just running late. Like, but when you text me and ask me if I'm coming and I'm not there, it gives me anxiety. So, like, just don't do that. But these people don't really know me like that yet, so they don't know the things that make me tick. So I just have to let it slide. But I am... What the heck is my phone? Oh, here it goes. Okay, 6.37. That's amazing. Way to go, Tamaya. I don't even know where this... Okay, my Uber still says it's eight minutes away, so seven minutes. So we should be fine. But I guess I might I might vlog when I get there. It depends on what the vibe is and if I want to go home or not. But I'll talk to y'all later. I can't speak for everyone. You don't, but I can't speak for everyone. You don't need to be judgmental. That's what you don't need to do. Hey guys, so we're here. I guess it's cool. Ryan, get in there because my subscribers think that you're cute. Come on, Ryan. Y'all, my hand is so bomb, y'all. Girl, do a slow turn. Do a slow turn. Y'all, here goes Ryan. My subscribers love him. Subscribe to Maya. If they're watching me, take me out. Watch the
guys so it is Saturday um, it is like 11 in the morning I left my house this morning at like 8 30 ish to go and surprise my mom my brother and my dad because my brother just broke his um hand um he plays football and he broke his hand so like i wanted to come surprise him bring him a gift and like hang out with him today and i feel like i have been so mean lately i don't even know what i look like right now i probably look so crazy but i have been so mean lately to my family um uh, and not mean like i'm just some evil girl but it's just like when you're in law school or you're doing anything and people don't understand like where you're coming from it just causes you so much frustration and then you notice that you start to take it out on them so i have found myself like getting so frustrated with my mom like when i would tell her something and she just doesn't she thinks like oh like that's nothing and i'm like mom like no it's not nothing it's a lot like if i say like i have five pages to read like she'll think that that means like okay i'll be done in a second no five pages is like an hour like if you're in law school you know how in depth you need to go so it's just kind of like i kind of have been a little bit irritated by their lack of understanding but i have to realize that i'm the first person in my family to go to um law school so a lot of people don't have that understanding and my family does not have that background in law so it's my job to kind of teach them and kind of let them know like what I'm going through and also to be patient with people so I just felt like I needed to spend time with my family a little bit today um so I'm here in Marietta um it was a lot of traffic but it didn't take well yeah it took a little it took a little while but I'm here so I'm about to surprise them now and I hope they're here because if not that'd be real awkward the door. they're looking probably and they don't see me What you scared of? <laughs> I said it's your sister. Hi. <laughs> hey, Andra. Oh man, a fly came in. You guys hey. gonna be all right. Hi, Nehemiah. Hi, Tamara. Hey, Molly. Hi, hey, you guys. So I'm still in Marietta with my mom and my brother right now. I'm about to go to um the mall so I can try to buy stuff um, for my trip to Virginia I need some new clothes even though I just bought clothes like I bought clothes for school though but I need like clothes to like go out in and then like clothes for the home like a dress like a nice dress for like the homecoming game um so yeah that's what I'm about to do now why won't you give me a try don't misunderstand me when I'm trying to speak my mind I am going to go meet my um, alumni mentor. I told you guys about that. So if you sign up, you're able to get an alumni mentor. So I meet mine today. And we've talked on the phone already. And she was so nice. So I'm just so excited to go meet her. But what I plan to do after that is just stay at school for the rest of the day. So the thing starts at 11. It's like 10, 15 now. But I just plan to stay at school until like maybe 12 a.m. And just knock everything that I can out and just do some studying for contrast which is like I said before my first midterm class so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today okay you guys so I just got back from um, meeting my mentor and she was so amazing although we've talked on the phone she was even more amazing in person but she just gave me some of the most helpful advice so if you guys ever get the chance to like get a mentor in law school whether it be like from an organization that you join or an alumni opportunity, definitely take that or just anybody who has a, you know, a career in the legal field because they tell you some things that some people might not ever tell you. Like they can tell you how to do things a lot differently, especially if they have, you know, experienced it and they kind of know, you know, what you need to do in practice and how to kind of prepare for that. So she gave me some really good insight. I planned on, um, staying at school but unfortunately I need to come home and change my clothes because I was like kind of uncomfortable so I'm about to change really quickly and then just head over back to school so I'll see you guys when I get there hey guys so it's like five o'clock now and I got back to school like around 1 30 so I've been studying up until this point what I've done so far is I've completed my contracts outline up to where we are in class now and what I'm going to do next is read for torts and read for criminal law I'm sitting outside now because I'm taking like 15 minutes to just kind of like 
breathe and like listen to songs or watch videos on YouTube and then come talk to you guys because I feel like when you're studying for a while you definitely need to take a mental break but other than that um, I changed into a t-shirt and um, joggers because I was kind of uncomfortable and I feel like if I'm gonna be here all day I at least should be comfortable I think I'll probably leave here around 12 or 1 um, but that's not too bad actually because I usually go to sleep around 2 so we should be good but I'm going to take my break now and I'll come talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys, it's 12.35. I just got back home like five minutes ago. Um, I left the library around 12.08, I think. Um, but today was pretty productive. It was a productive weekend as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any upcoming or any other videos that you guys want to see, please let me know. I do plan on doing a How I Organize My Notes video. I plan on doing a morning routine and also a night routine. But if there's anything else you guys want to see that I haven't said yet, let me know. And I will definitely do that for you guys. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share. Like, if you have any friends or family who are interested in law school or just interested in youtube like tell them to watch my videos like you don't have like i feel like my stuff is pretty relatable to anybody and i know some of my great subscribers who don't care about law at all but they still support so just be sure to share um thank you guys so much for watching and for being supportive and for commenting you guys are honestly amazing um be sure to follow me on my social media accounts which will be right below my instagram and my snapchat those are the only like platforms that i actually really use besides youtube but other than that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one you